Hi everyone, hope you all are doing well. So we are back with another question in our NEET Code 150 DSA question series. So today's problem is valid parentheses from the topic is tech, right? So we have almost covered the standard problems from sliding window topic. So the next topic is stack. So these days we'll be solving the problems from stack. So here is the easy problem. The first problem is valid parentheses. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, the logic part and the code part, right? But before proceeding ahead, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then you can consider subscribing my channel. It will really give a kind of motivation, a boost to me to create more such content. And you can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says given a string S containing just the characters. So characters, see, there's a string and it is containing the only characters which are open and closed parentheses, open and closed curly brackets, open and closed square brackets. You have to determine if the input string is valid or not. So they say they say that input string is valid if first open bracket must be closed by the same type of uh, same type of brackets. Means if the open bracket is of type curly bracket, then it should be it should be closed by the same type of closed curly bracket, right? open bracket must be closed in the correct order so what order it has been occurred no so in that order it should be closed every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket so if there is a closed bracket that you have seen means before before you have seen the similar open bracket also then also then only you will you will you will form a pair no you will form a pair or you will be cancelling out okay this is a valid string right so yeah so example let's have a look on the example now for example, here if you will see s equal to, so there is first uh, this open curly bracket, sorry, open parenthesis and this closed parenthesis, right? So there is a pair being formed. So this is a valid string. Similarly, here also, uh, see for, for every open parenthesis, for every open bracket, let me say in this way, there is a closed bracket and in the same order that in, they are getting closed. For example, if you will see here, if you will see here, if this test case we are talking about, so even though, even though we are having the open bracket, sorry, closed bracket related to this open curly bracket and closed bracket related to this open square bracket, but it is not a valid string because they have said in the same order it should be open brackets must be closed in the correct order. So the correct thing should be that first, first this square bracket should be closed and then this first this square bracket should be closed and then this curly bracket right so then now it would be it would be a valid string okay i hope that it makes sense right so here they have given the constraint as well right so now let's discuss about the approach for solving this particular problem if you are someone who has you know who is having the proper idea regarding this, the staff i believe that most of you must be able to do this question by yourself understood the problem statement do the question by yourself and those who want to you know, know the approach and discuss the explanation, be with me till the end of this video, right? So here, what the thing is, what the question says, that how you will, first of all, how you will determine a valid string, right? So first thing is that we should have at least one opening bracket. What if, see, we are just considering some sort of scenarios, we are considering some sort of scenarios, let's say, what if, what if, uh, the first or the string itself that is given to us the first bracket that we have seen it is a closed bracket so post that whatever comes it does not make sense right because associated to this closed bracket there should be an open bracket before one thing to note here right other thing is that see uh because see, it is important that open bracket must be closed in the same order. So let's say if right now you are seeing this, uh, you are seeing this, you have seen this closed parenthesis. It means, it means before that there should be an open parenthesis. Then only the fact would be cancelled out in this way you can say. Right? So we have to keep track of the previous what we have seen. Previous what we have seen. Previously what we have seen. And the order also matters. What has occurred? see how we are taking the things how we are taking the things for example if this one we are saying so first we we have seen this open 
curly bracket, then just open a square bracket. Then the expectation is that this is like last, lastly, or previously what at the end what you have seen. I have seen this, I have seen this square bracket. So first you have to close this square bracket. Right, first this square bracket bracket has to be closed. So in this way, what data structure comes to your mind is that last in, first out, which is nothing but a stack. So we will use a stack here for solving this particular problem. Right. So again, what we'll be doing is that we have to one by one go through each character that we do have in our string. So first character, current character we have stored in our string. Oh, sorry, current character we have stored here so as dot caret i. So, first expectation is that first it should be like, pehle hume opening bracket to dikhe. Ab, agar first character itself is the closed bracket, invalid string, there itself, invalid string, right? So, here we have, we have kept this condition if current character is this open parenthesis, open curly bracket, open square bracket, push into the stack. Now, what are the see thing in this way? What could be the scenarios when this thing would be invalid? Right? We are thinking in this way. If see if this is not an invalid one, then we have to continue with our op operation. So here in in this else condition, what we are checking. So let's say if this condition didn't became true, means the first character itself is a closing closing bracket. It means the stack will remain empty. So that's what we are checking here. That stack is empty means we we haven't got a chance to get into this if condition so so that itself return false otherwise what all other scenarios that current character is a closed closed parenthesis but the last character or the character which is at the top of the stack which is at the top of the stack it is a it is an it is not in see it is not an opening it is not an opening parenthesis this is an invalid string, right? Same, similarly, we are checking for other brackets also that if the character is in closed square bracket, but the character which is on the top of the stack is not a opening square bracket. Similarly, for the current character is closed curly bracket, but the character at the top of the stack is not an open curly bracket. So we have to return false. And if see if nothing out of these conditions became true, it means it is a valid case, right? So, valid case means, see, you have seen, let's say, in a stack already there is one, uh, one, let's say, open parenthesis there, and now you are seeing this character that is a closed parenthesis. So, it means what? The valid pair in this way, you can understand the valid pair has been formed. So, just remove, no need to put this also in the stack, right? We have got a pair, right? So, cancellation, let's do the cancellation means means if the current character that you are seeing it is the closed bracket and at the top of the stack is an opening bracket remove this character from the stack right so uh, that's why we are doing just st dot pop and if it is a valid string so at the end we will left with just empty stack so if this method is returning true it means the true will be returned right otherwise false will be returned so let's take one example just to give you more clarity just to give you more clarity over the things or well, let's take this one only this example only so first character is this opening parenthesis so that will be pushed into our stack okay and now on the top of the stack is this right next we have seen this open curly bracket right so this if condition itself is being true no in both the cases so now on the top of the stack is this open curly bracket right now we have seen this closed curly bracket so this if, if condition is not going to be true right we will get into this so stack is not empty right and uh, current character is what this closed curly bracket and what is at the peak at the top of the stack again a opening bracket only right opening curly bracket only so we will get into this else part so else part is what whatever is the top pop it so pop this one next we will move to this character so right now the top of the stack is what this open open parenthesis and the correct character is closed parenthesis so again this else only will become true and this character which is at the top of the stack will be removed so now what is there in the stack nothing stack is empty so return st dot is empty is going to return true and hence it is a valid string 
right i hope this makes sense i hope you were able to understand the problem statement the code the logic part right there are uh, there is just let me know if there is any other approach or do you have any other approach to solve this problem in the comment section right talking about the time complexity so see one by one we have gone through each character of the string so big of n is going to be the time complexity talking about the space complexity so we can say roughly n by 2 elements will be there in our stack right so we can say big of n is going to be the space complexity um, of this particular problem right so thank you so much for watching this video everyone bye bye